YouTube! Hello. How are you doing? What's up? We are here for another day, another last Claudia video. Sorry I was MIA yesterday. I had some business to take care of, but we're back. I'm a little late to the party. The Yuletide gifts, the Christmas events, everything with the holidays is coming. It's here. It started. Uh, but before we dive into it, I just wanted to shout out to you guys. Thank you for pushing me over 100 subscribers. Check this morning. It's a big milestone for your boy just starting on YouTube. So thank you guys for showing the love, showing the support. I'm going to keep on bringing content out for you. So looking at this right today, we were able to get uh, the orb collectors. Oh, I can't actually see what they're going to give us. Uh, obviously, they're going to give us this item right here. Might be an awakening. I'm not familiar with it. And this thousand coins I'm guessing that's gonna be uh, the festival or the the event currency possibly uh, so some nice stuff there and we've got just the same old announcements that was it that was the only added login bonus here's the announcement for the Yuletide gifts uh, Yuletide gifts will be available from the 17th to the 27th and then you can collect the rewards until the 6th in case you miss a couple of days of logging in Here's some event details. Please see the following for the key event key points. Everyone unite to calm the Snow King Pockle, or Pokle. This story takes place in a certain East Lanzelian forest. The Snow Pockles who dwell there wait for their promised night with the beast that sleeps in the forest. This is their story. This is a cooperative event between all users. Okay, earning event points inflicts damage to the super boss. Once it's defeated, the boss levels up. There is a slay reward for each boss level every day, so be sure to be sure to complete this every single day because you're going to get a special reward. Reset 7 uh, Pacific Time every day. And slay rewards can only be collected on the applicable day, so if you miss a day, you're going to miss your slay reward. i got to see what that's about. Collect event medals to obtain the LR Arc, right? This is a prize for everybody here. Oh, look at this. So it gives us the details on it. We, we saw this in the announcement that this LR arc was coming, but these are the details for it. So, White Christmas LR, Arc Attribute, Dark Attack Damage, Taken minus 20%, Continuous Regeneration Effect, When an ally is incapacitated the first time in a wave, Restore 20 MP, Max 3 Incapacitation. So whoever this is equipped to, obviously you want it equipped to a Magic Caster because they're going to be restoring their MP per ally death. But that entails that they need to be the one to survive, so that's interesting. Your skills, you get Fort, Metis, Star Heal, Magic Defense up 4, Cure All, and Ether Heal. So, obviously they want you to attach it to Christmas Tyria, or Saint Tyria. As I've seen, she's getting some buffs already. We're going to check that out probably later. Collect tickets and fight as hard as you can. Extra battle tickets can be obtained from the event. Clearing the extra quest will be rewarded with a vast amount of event points and medals. In addition, using the tweet button on the event page will be rewarded with one extra battle ticket per day. So make sure you're tweeting about this event. Get your battle tickets so we can fight the super boss. 48 hour limited bargain quests are available. During these periods, a one time only special quest will be available for each period. Rainbow crystal clusters and vast amounts of metals and EXP can be obtained. I'll be on that so I can upgrade my characters. That is huge for me. Uh, obviously, this is very new player friendly content. Uh, I'm curious to see if they are going to be showing some uh, late game players some love. In addition, during this two day period, quests on the world map will also drop event medals. Okay. So the event units, obviously, Saintly Tyria is going to give you the most XP plus 1.5 and 50% in event points. Um, Kyle, Magic Beast Ray, Divine Beast Ray, Lilibet, Zex, Mysterious Girl Tyria, Lily, Advocate of God Lily, Zykes, Delmordo, Lagerbos, and Puckles will all give you a 1.2 times multiplier in EXP and then 20% extra event points, which is nice because my core team that I'm rocking right now is uh except for alice alice isn't on here um but i've got divine beast ray and zex on my team so they'll give me a nice little bonus regarding slay rewards collection if a slay reward is available simply accessing the event top screen will automatically send it to the present box 
The rewards can be checked by tapping Slay Rewards button on the event top screen. Rewards can only be claimed for days on which you score points, so be sure to play every day. Noted. And then here are tie event limited equipment. Bunch of Christmas stuff. All right, so for the event limited equipment, we've got a bow that's regular attacks are effective against the undead. It gives you attribute light damage, strength plus 69, mind plus 11. That's nice. And then you're going to get it through the trading space. Uh, so you'll be exchanging materials in order to acquire this. Next is a Yuletide Evergreen Staff, but it's a spear. Interesting name choice. Physical attacks plus 10 damage against the undead type boss monsters. So these are very undead effective type weapons attribute light strength plus 133 mind plus 16 very nice and it's actually a mission reward so you can get this just by completing missions very cool clothing is for female only it's good to note more likely to be attacked but a shorter faint time okay HP plus 100, defense plus 63, mine plus 39, dark resistance plus 5, and resist poison. This is also a mission reward. And lastly is the Yuletide Mantle, which is an accessory. Damage from undead types minus 7%, HP plus 50, mine plus 49, dark resistance plus 5. So if you are taking on an undead boss or some kind of difficult undead quest, super good equipment right here. This is a That last one is a quest clear reward. Very cool. And then the last notes, event periods and their contents may be subject to change. That's all just the fine print. This Christmas celebration, uh, this was added, uh, I believe, two days ago or yesterday morning. Uh, this was just giving us the overall look at what's to come, but we covered a lot of this in the Yuletide Gifts e event notice that we just looked at. The only other thing I did notice was this Soul Field, which... Makes me feel bad for late game players because on Discord and Reddit, I've seen so many people talk about how they have maxed out blue souls, maxed out red souls that they have nothing to do with because all of their arcs are upgraded and they're just simply farming at this point is all they have left to do. So this I see <laughs> zero appeal for anyone who's been playing the game for an extended amount of time. But for me, this is great. I have a lot of arcs as a new player that I need to upgrade. So any bonus uh, that I can get from this, I'm going to be taking advantage of. So you can do it three times per day. Blue and red souls are obtained when you do this, and you don't. They, it doesn't cost anything to do this event. Yeah, this, uh, this can be attempted at no orb cost, obviously. That makes sense. All ability gates open are every day. The following dungeons have reduced orb costs, so any grinding of materials that you need to do you're going to be spending less on uh, orbs to do those events, which is always nice, if you're like me. There's the Yuletide gifts. Obviously, we went over a lot of these details when we just looked at that other uh, event and then the same kind of uh, notices about bonus characters and whatnot. Back over on Reddit. No surprise. Uh, I also used uh, Reddit as a reference uh, to try and get some feedback on the game. Obviously, it went very well last time I asked a question, so not as much feedback on this one, but we still got a really nice uh, comment from the user Zolaris uh, that kind of gave us some insight as to how he thinks they might handle this, uh, Adis might handle this celebration, right? Obviously, we know the free arc's coming, uh, St. Leteria's coming back, she's going to get her awa uh, an awakening to 6, and then she's getting some more skills to her kit. I did see that she is getting uh, a couple extra buffs, I think, in the uh, announcements. We're also getting Phantom Tower on the 1224 maintenance, so in 7 days, Phantom Tower's coming back. I think that's a really good event to snag rewards, it seems to be like the only kind of end game difficult content that I've seen, uh, if I would have to guess. Uh, so looks like they're going to increase the floor count to 80. Um, the entire thing is going to have a Christmas theme. The previous one had a Halloween theme, so it sounds like it's something they bring back every time there's a holiday event. Oh, and there's a free LR arc named Phantom Tower, if you can clear to floor 80. Uh, I probably won't be able to, but I'll give it a shot, and I'll make it a video. You'll see. I also asked what was happening, what might happen on New Year's. Solaris isn't 
completely sure, but it looks like on Discord they gave a hint about saving 6,000 crystals, so we're in the clear once that comes. I think it was some kind of special banner we wouldn't want to miss, so if more information comes out on that, I'll make sure to post a video. And that's about it. That's all I got. This guy, Aridon, said Christmas, uh, Christmas Lilibeth Eliza or Maddie, uh, Medine, Medine, uh, we know Saint, we know Saint Tyria is coming, but this, these would be new characters, interesting, maybe a thousand gems, Saint Tyria gets more nodes on the ability board, yeah, not much, not much, people weren't super proactive on this, which kind of worries me, I feel like they're not going to be releasing a bunch of stuff. Oh yes, here's the information for the Saint Saint Leteria buffs that are coming. She's getting Arcane up four, which gives her 10% it int and MP. Trade upgrade, the Carol of Light will have the added effect. Light damage cap plus 2,000. Any kind of damage cap is awesome in this game. And then her resistances are gonna change. She's gonna resist stunning. She's going to have a zero, so it looks like a neutral resistance to ice her thunder resistance is going up right from negative 15 to negative 10 and then her light resistance is also going up so she's going to be a little bit tankier and then awakening to level six is also unlocked that bums me out man because i was getting close to awakening uh, ray to four and i thought that was it but it sounds like there's two more awakening levels to go after that oh and then yeah power potion usage has a slider option I saw a funny meme where it was like, godly quality of life update incoming only took one and a half years, and I'm assuming it was sarcastic because the ability to just slide the amount that you want to use <laughs> seems like someone could have programmed that in less than an hour. You know, I'm not, I don't want to be super judgy man with zero knowledge of how coding works, but... Doesn't seem like it should have taken a year and a half if that was something that was actually demanded by the community. This one, this post got more buzz by Smacks, right? He just said the eight is that stole Christmas. That's pretty funny. Uh, he said the Xmas event looks horrible. Daily gifts are underwhelming. I thought Xmas would be one of the bigger events of the year. I remember seeing a comment right here by the safeguard. This is week one of event. Based on some of the events we've had the past few months, I've hold off I'd hold off until seeing what week two brings. That's when the better stuff has happened, I guess, in previous uh, holiday or special events that they've run. He then says, either way, I won't be pulling unless we get a new unique unit that I really want. Trying to hold out for another collab or second anniversary. Obviously, anniversaries on Gacha Games are notorious for being hype, and they bring a lot of great stuff. So I did want it to find that comment and point it out. Um, that's what I'm hoping for as well. A unique unit that's godly right we might not see that I thought maybe for New Year's but sounds like there's gonna be maybe a special banner but they're probably just gonna recycle old units which isn't bad for me right I there's a lot of characters that I would love to pull that uh, would still be super great for my account over here on Twitter look in there's not much that they've given us right this is when the maintenance ended this shows us everything we've already seen and then I guess they're showing some more Cyber Slayer Alice content, which I don't think anyone cares about at this point. After a week of a new unit being out, it's kind of old news. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Side note, guys, help your boy out. Go follow me on Twitter. Show me some love. I'm tired of tweeting to basically myself. <laughs> so any of you that have a Twitter account, if you could follow me over there, I would love you <laughs> I would love to do I would love to have some more engagement over on Twitter so I could actually feel like I'm tweeting like a real tweeter but that about sums up everything that I know of to kind of showcase for the upcoming holiday events nothing too crazy hype that I'm like oh and now's the time to jump into the game hopefully they can bring us something to liven up the community and hype up these events these of during the holiday events or special events, that's the time to just release as much as you can, to snag in new people, to keep your current players. So hopefully we can get some really good stuff here in the coming future. 
I know I've got a lot to explore since this is my first uh, holiday event, but tell me what you think. Is uh, Do you agree with that one comment saying it was really sounding kind of lacking at this point, but are you optimistic more stuff will come in the future? Uh, I'm interested to see y'all's feedback. Again, thank y'all for being here. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so I can get more people joining the Buddha gang. And like I always say, work hard, play harder. See you in the next video.